Ineos bought two. Um, Ineos launched his second boat. Uh, we we all knew more or less uh, the the boat one was not said to be uh, very fast actually. Uh, so their boat two, as we expected, is very very different from boat one. Even though uh, something in the let's say in the concept uh, has remained. Uh, the first thing uh, which has remained in the concept, for sure, is uh, the predominance of whether horizontal or vertical surfaces. So, there, there is a very clear uh, distinction between all the horizontal and all the vertical surfaces. Uh, we already saw uh, a skeg or a bustle or a keel appearing in bot 1, which is a was a little bit uh, not really not really good, let's say. Uh, now they took this idea to I think the next level or maybe another level, another another way. Maybe it's not a, a better level, but for sure they now uh, from having no uh, bustle, no skag at all, and having the flattest, uh, let's say. Uh, hull surface of them all, now they have the biggest uh, and uh, uh, strangest, uh, strangest uh, skeg or bustle uh, than, than anyone. Uh, this kind of, uh, of feature is actually really uh, interesting. Uh, the sides in the, in the front part, on, uh, at most, are uh, are really vertical and all the side is shaped like uh, a very big uh, uh, airfoil um, obviously seen, uh, seen vertical so uh, as a vertical wing so any vertical wind is a sail actually the shape is not really uh, that of, uh, of a normal let's say uh, wing but with a uh, but let's say it's a, it's a wing which has the, uh, the maximum camber quite in the bottom part. Um, so this can be actually really helpful and this can be a, an aerodynamic surface which can provide lift because uh, this surface will provide the lift, some kind of lift. Uh, and it's something that no other boat has uh, as, as now at least as now, as we know. Um, this is very interesting and also they uh, took the, the opportunity, uh, let's say, to have this bigger uh, part uh, to cut it uh, horizontally or more or less horizontally and have uh, a flat surface, horizontal flat surface, which can provide some lift and also can provide uh, some ground effect. Uh, this boat uh, is, is for me, but uh, a video pub published yesterday uh, confirms uh, quite a lot of this, is thought by someone, is designed and thought by someone which is not very uh, linked to the uh, nautical world in the sense that uh, is, is at least unlinked by, by the normal ideas of what a, a hull of a, of a boat uh, should be. Uh, this is for sure something which is more similar to an F1 car. Uh, in particular, it's more similar to a Mercedes F1 car, which is now uh, sponsored by Aeneos. And this, this, obviously, we can also see by the graphic on the front of the boat, which is very similar to the graphic of the Mercedes. Um, on the back of the car, uh, and this kind of uh, collaboration between some people with, with, who knows really well the aerodynamic, uh, the aerodynamics, and uh, some people who wants to sail a boat, uh, which is actually flying. So, so actually is for most of the part uh, out of the water. Um, this, this is obviously something which leads to, to the thought that this boat uh, doesn't want to touch the water but anyway uh, they can obviously they are able to lift off and once they are lifted off 
and once they are flying, uh, they, are, they have for sure a really peculiar aerodynamic uh, shape, and this kind of shape is, um, is made up by horizontal and vertical planes. So, uh, they used this kind of kig, kill or skeg, kig, let's, let's call it uh, bust lig, no, I don't know, uh, a mix between bus or kill and skeg. And uh, this kill is actually the spine of, of the hull, and then the hull is all, let's say, uh, shifted a little bit uh, uh, upwards. Uh, there is another li little shift in the, in the, let's say, from one third to, to the end of the boat, uh, which leads to another uh, corner and to another flat and then vertical surface. Uh, this flat surface seems to be a little bit uh, um, convex, actually, so like this, uh, uh, but it cannot be, for sure, for the rules, uh, because you cannot have uh, convex surfaces. Uh, so, I guess it is flat, or almost flat, and then with this kind of uh, little little angle which is for sure trying to separate the flow between uh, the horizontal planes and the vertical planes. So uh, I think all the idea of yeah, this kind of hull is uh, having vertical and horizontal surfaces and separating the flow between the horizontal and vertical surfaces or using the, the, the fact that these kind of flows are different uh, to have the, the better effect possible. Uh, we see also in F1 cars there are a lot of round shapes and everything but once, uh, once you, you need to separate between the horizontal and the vertical they, there is uh, almost always a corner. It's almost everything uh, separated between horizontal and vertical. And uh, also, this is uh, this is true for the for the deck, which is now flat. Uh, it's no more uh, concave as uh, the boat one deck was. Probably they thought when they were designing boat one that that they need the the flow to be inside the sides of the boat itself. Uh, now they passed to a flat deck, let's say, uh, at least in the front part as almost everyone, and then uh, uh, a back part which is um, now it's very very honestly very very similar from any boat. Uh, this kind of, of design is obviously shielding a little bit less the, the crew, which is anyway shielded by the, by the sides of the, of the boat, and also probably allows a little bit more the, the boom to open and we saw uh, actually American Magic in some videos with the boom quite open um, so very close to the heads of the crew and, and this is probably needed uh, when they need to start from zero, from zero velocity and they need to, to fly. So really, really interesting boat, uh, really different design from any other, any other boat. We will see if uh, the aerodynamics guys of, uh, of Mercedes are actually better at designing boat than uh, all the boat designer. Obviously I don't think so, uh, but for sure I think that this kind of design, the boat to ideas design, uh, is a little bit a kick to any boat designer uh, who is designing a boat with, who flies, because once the boat flies, uh, you almost deal, deal exclusively uh, with the with the air. So you need someone. So you need someone who really, really knows uh, the air and the aerodynamics well. The hydrodynamics is a little bit different. So not everything is is the same. Uh, we will see. For sure, interesting boat. For sure, peculiar boat. I guess uh, it will not be slow. Uh, I think uh, it will uh, be 
at least on the on the straight line will be very fast very fast we will see ciao ciao